Hey guys, Claire here, and today I'm gonna to share with you some of my favorite items for a kick-ass manicure. It's kind of funny, like, because I'm always on camera with my hands, my nails are just usually, like, nude. They're not ever cool. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to talk about some of my favorite nail polish shades and some of the items that I really am obsessed with. I'm also deeply regretting not having cuter nails for this video, <laughs> but whatever, it's, you know, it's not about that, it's about the products. Okay, I'm going to first go through all the nail polishes that I love. So this one is from 10 over 10. It's called Jane and I'm obsessed with it. It is so cute. It's like the perfect baby pink. It's kind of flesh tone nudie, but not too much. And it goes on great. The other cool thing about 10 over 10 is that they are even more than like five free or seven free. They're like a really non-toxic polish. So if you are pregnant or you have really sensitive skin, this is a great brand to use. So I'm super into it. And they have tons of colors. This is just one that's really pretty. Keeping up the nude tones, I'm really digging the Sally Hansen. This is from Color Therapy. Uh, one of the lines they've done, it has argan oil in it. Um, this one's called Blushed Petal, and it's just a kind of a sexy color. It goes on really beautifully. Um, if you want to see swatches, check out the blog post. I did paint a few so you can kind of see how they are painted on. Um, and that's on the kitschykitchen.com. But yeah, this one's a good color. So yeah, Blushed Petal by Sally Hansen Color Therapy. The argan oil I think is meant to be more nourishing and less damaging to your nails. I can't really speak to that. I don't know how well that works, but the color is really pretty and elegant. This one I tried recently and I'm really into. I also was surprised Chanel actually is on the spectrum of nail polish, like pretty non-toxic. It actually, I think it's like, I wanna say six free or something like that. Um, but this is the color called Organdi. I love this color so much. It's just like a very pretty kind of, it's not like a beige or taupe um, and it's still kind of pink, but it just looks sexy on your fingernails. It's a really, really pretty color. You're gonna see a lot of like nudes and things like that because this is just what I love. Next, taking us into kind of the grayish world. This one's really fun. This is called Saint Tropez from Essie. This is my sister's color. This is her go-to color. This is what she wore, I think, I wanna say on her wedding day. Um, but it's great. If you're looking for like a really pretty kind of sand color, um, it's very neutral, but very elegant looking at the same time. This is great. And I love Essie. I mean, their nail polishes are not expensive and they have the best color, so it's really fun. Well, keeping on the Essie train, um, this is the perfect white. It's called Marshmallow. And this is a white that is thin and delicate enough. It's like sheer enough that you can wear it as its own color. So it doesn't look like you just put white out on your fingernails because we all did that when we were in middle school and it was not a good idea. <laughs> so this is a very pretty white um, and it's not like this bright shocking white either. It's very soft. It honestly, like one thing is as you get older and you start like doing things like remodeling homes and having to paint walls, you start figuring out that there's as many versions of white as there are grains of sand. Like it's truly just a thing. So when you find a good white, you just like hold on and never let go. Which is why Benjamin Moore Swiss coffee is like my life. And I also love marshmallow from Essie. <laughs> and then for something that I would say almost borders on purple, it's this really beautiful like lilac gray. And what is it called? like dreamers do, that's right, from Deborah Lipman. It's kind of sheer, but it's so beautiful. And every time I wear this, I get a ton of compliments. Deborah Lipman makes amazing nail polishes, as I'm sure you guys know. They are really long lasting. They look really good on your nails, so I love this. The last one is another Sally Hansen offering. This one I just thought was a really cool color on. Like I don't usually do green, but my sister does. For me, this is like a pedicure color, right? Like, but that's because I'm boring. Um, but it's called Cool Cucumber. And it actually has like this really deep, it's like an emerald teal kind of tone, but really cool and very now. I feel like this is very, very chic. I'm into it. And it also reminds me of something that a film seductress from like the 1920s, like a Russian emigre would wear if it was like 1922 or something. Believe it or not, like green nail polish was a thing in 1922. I know it sounds weird, but it's, it's actually accurate. Anyway, but I love all of these colors so, so much. Once again, if you want to see like swatches and drips and whatever, check that out on the blog. For the top coat, I 
honestly, I lost the small bottle, so I'm showing you the giant bottle. Um, Sesh V is gnarly, but oh my God, does it work. It is the fastest, it's a drying, fast, fast, fast top coat. So you put it on and like within 10 seconds, it's like click, 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 your nail is ready to go. And it's so freaking shiny. Like sometimes I will just reapply this like maybe day three or four after a manicure and it completely revives it. So this is like not messing around. It's pretty crazy. So now that we've covered the nail polish, these are some of my favorite items for like manicure care. So this is the Christian Dior cuticle cream. I love it. It's called Creme Apricot. Um, and it's really great. It's super thick. Um, so and sticky. So when you put it, you only need like the tiniest amount. Like one of these things will last you a kind of obscene long time. The smell, it smells like dried apricots. Um, so that's kind of the scent and my dog's obsessed with it. So if I put it on my fingers, I have to make sure I'm not in the same room as the dog because Buster will come and try to lick it off my hands. He's that into it, but it's really great and very, very softening. It really like deeply enriches your cuticles so that you can push them back really easily. So if you have any dry skin around your nail beds, like this stuff is pretty fabulous. And then I'm really obsessed with this. Deborah Lippmann Rich Girl Hand Cream. It has SPF 25 and it smells like Barbies. It does. It smells like Barbies with gardenia, which is like, I know I sound like a crazy person. If a guy's watching this, he's like, what is she talking about? But we all remember Barbie smell. It's like how we all remember like My Little Pony smell. Like it's a very distinct kind of like plastic smell, but it's really pleasant. And so this, I, just, I realize I'm making this sound like it smells like plastic, which I guess in a way it does, but in a really nice way and like gardenia. But apparently, you know, there's no parabens. This has like, so I'm reading off the back obviously, but it has shea butter, avocado, um, jojoba oil. It makes your skin really smooth and soft. Um, and I mean, it's definitely indulgent. I mean, hence rich girl hand cream, but when we live in an age of no gloves, um, and hands are kind of the thing that you can tell. I feel like hands and neck, that's what is aging us now because people get work done on their face all the time. But if the neck is kind of wrinkly and sad or like the hands have lots of spots on them, it does show your age a little sooner. So protecting your hands with a little bit of SPF, I think is a really good idea, especially if you're in your car all day. I'm in my car all the time. So my hands are on my wheel with the sun heat hitting them. So having a little bit of extra protection there is probably a good idea. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about some of my favorite, you know, manicure items. I love all of these colors so much. These two guys are fabulous for having soft cashmere paws. Cashmere paws is my sister's nickname, by the way, because her hands are that soft. But yeah, I think they're all really fun. I would love to hear what your guys' favorites are, so please comment below. If you wanna find out more about these in more detail, make sure to check out the description because I have a link to the blog post I did about all of these items on thekitchykitchen.com, so check that out. Like the video if you like it, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.